up everybody welcome back to my channel i just filmed another intro in this outfit i would pretend that i wasn't filming two videos in one day if i weren't wearing a bodysuit that would require taking my whole outfit off i could have put a jacket on i could have looked a little different this is the real this is the me this is exactly where i'm supposed to be the video let's talk about the video instead of all my mistakes and insecurities and concerns and potentially yours today i'm going to be showing you my nighttime skincare routine as you guys know, I'm absolutely obsessed with skincare, way more than I am with makeup. I mean, obviously I love wearing makeup and love feeling good and being glowy and having like a dope highlight, but I can't feel good with all that makeup on my face unless my skin is taken care of. I love finding new products. I love going through the whole process. I love masks. I love serums. I like literally am abnormally obsessed with skincare. Like it's very odd. I love taking care of my skin because I love not having to wear makeup. I love feeling uncomfortable without putting anything on my face. I love when I do put makeup on my face that it looks flawless. So I'm going to show you guys my nighttime skin routine and I switch up products a lot because like I said, I love skincare. I'm constantly getting scent products. I'm constantly going out and buying products. And there are so many good things out on the market, obviously. So it's never like I only use one thing. So I'm going to show you guys a bunch of options and show you the order in which I do my skincare and then show you a few options for each step. Different price ranges, different brands, different just reasons why I like them. Gonna show you a bunch because I do switch it up all the time since I have so much and a normal amount of skincare products that I didn't wanna just be like, this is the only thing I use because obviously I use a ton of different stuff. So I'm gonna show you options. I'm gonna tell you why I love them, why I use them, what they do. I'ma put them on my face and then I'm a PTFO. I'm gonna go to bed. Ooh, and I love sprays lately too. I love like spritz and spray. Anyway, let's jump right in to my skincare routine. Face stuff. Things on my face. Here are things on my face. I'm putting them on my face right now. As you can see, I have a ton of skincare products and this isn't even all of it. So I'm going to start by taking off my makeup in the bathroom because it is my favorite part of the day to take off my makeup. And I find that using an oil is so much more effective. You guys don't understand, if you don't take off your makeup before washing your face, you're not even washing the skin on your face, you're literally just washing the makeup off. So if you take off your makeup first and then wash your face, you're getting all your makeup off and cleaning your skin, exfoliating and cleaning out your pores. The oil is so good that all you need to do is kind of wipe around whatever is remaining on your eye and then you're good to go into the rest of your skincare routine. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys out of my bathroom to talk to you and show you my skincare routine and some great lighting as opposed to my messy bathroom, as you saw. Since I'm starting to see these couple breakouts right here, um, I honestly don't know what they're from. They literally just popped up. I'm gonna be using the glycolic acid toner. Love, love, love this stuff because I think that my skin responds really, really well to glycolic acid. What glycolic acid is, I don't know exactly, but what I do know is that it's really great for exfoliating, great for making your skin glow. So I find that using it really helps me not only like clear my skin, but exfoliate it and really make it glowy. And so I just rub that all over. When it comes to your skin, you wanna always make sure you're going down onto your neck and your chest because your neck will get wrinkly one day and gross. And if you've been taking care of your skin up here, you're gonna have a really wrinkly neck and not a wrinkly like aged face. Um, and you just wanna make sure you moisturize and do everything to it. Also, if you're someone who struggles with like chest pimples and stuff like that, you can always just take it all the way down. You know, boob sweat is the thing, people. And look at that. That's like literally just self tanner from the rest of my body, which is disgusting, but it's gone now, so. Usually before I put on the glycolic acid or anything like that, I would go and pop any breakouts that are ready to come out i mean i definitely am someone who would rather pop a pimple than just let it sit because i'm like a freak of nature but i also just got fake nails and it's really hard to pop pimples with fake nails if you've never had them before it's like you can't get the same thing going there so i don't want to pop anything if i did i would also definitely use the witch hazel because witch hazel is actually just kind of a natural like Astrogen, is that how you pronounce it? It basically is like kind of like alcohol, like how you kind of like you sanitize and get rid of it and like clean everything up. That, but it's natural. You can get it at Whole Foods, probably Trader Joe's, something like that. Another, another thing I would recommend is like Bioderma or like cleansing water, if that's like something you don't already have, if you can't really get all your makeup off. But if you use that Bosha oil or any other like Dermalogica oil like that, you should totally be able to get all of your makeup off and just have to go touch up around your eyes like I did with the coconut oil. You guys know if you've been following me, I literally have probably repurchased this 500 million times. This is the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster, potent vitamin C complex to brighten, smooth, and help the appearance of aging. So I'm gonna put just a pump of this all over my face down onto my neck and chest. So first I'm gonna rub it in like this so I'll make sure it's distributed evenly. Then I'm gonna go back and do one of these. 
because you want to make sure it's actually getting in your skin and not just rubbing into your actual hands. And you can do that by making sure you pat it into your skin. Especially at nighttime when you have more time before you go to bed, it's really important to try and pat everything into your skin as opposed to in the morning when you're probably rushing. Then I've been using the Ole Henriksen Serum for literally six to 10 years now. And it is the one thing where if I have a breakout like this, I will wake up tomorrow morning and this will no longer be red and raised. It will be flat and just like a little pore. And so I swear by the Ole Henriksen stuff, even, it, even though it is a super focused Focus product on anti-aging and I'm only 22 going on 30 that's math it is the best product I've ever used in my life it is incredible for my skin it's how I always have clear glowing skin so I recommend it to everyone and one of my friends went out and bought a little pack of it that came with the pure youth activating oil so this is something that you're supposed to use with the serum and it's youth activating oil nourish repair and brighten with pure rose hip seed oil so she started using both of them together and she was like, you have to get the oil. So I was like, well, I trust the serum, so let's go. You put this oil on, one pump, sometimes a pump and a half, and look at it. So it's really, really orange, as you can see, but don't worry, that will go away. So it's definitely more of an oil, and please, 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 do not get scared by oils even if you have oily skin your skin needs oils and most facial oils are not oversaturated with just plain oil and they're so 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 good for your skin so this one especially you want to pat in so i'm gonna let that sit for just a minute so i let the oil soak in just a bit because i don't want to like overload my skin you honestly don't have to do that i just totally take my time at night you could honestly throw all this stuff on your face as quickly as you want it will all get the job done the same way but i like just patting it into my skin and then letting it soak for a hot second next i'm going to be going in with a new product i've been trying that i really 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 like and it's by sunday riley and it is the good genes all-in-one lactic acid treatment brighten it fully Brightens, exfoliates, plumps lines, reduces the appearance of hyperpigmentation and instantly boosts radiance. You can totally feel this working as it goes on. Sometimes I like feel like stinging a little bit. In my opinion, it's kind of nice because you're like, oh, something's actually happening on my face. So since this is more of a lotion, I just rub this in. I've also been wanting to make sure I'm super, super hydrated lately. Since that is such a lactic acid treatment type moisturizer, I have been sometimes adding an extra moisturizer right before I go to bed. I've really been loving the H2O plus one because it's super, super hydrating and that's what I really, really need especially during these colder months and all the temperature changes in Los Angeles right now. I love, love, love L'Oreal's collection Revitalize Bright Reveal because it also has glycolic acid in it, which is, like I said, for brightness. And it's also super, super moisturizing. What I'm gonna be using for tonight is this Nurse Jamie um, Clarifying Moisturizer. The reason I, I go back and forth between her um, clarifying moisturizer and the brightening moisturizer because her products are amazing. So she has incredible products. I'm pretty sure you can get them online if you don't live in LA. The celebrity love her and if you do live in LA I highly recommend going to her spa for a facial it's like next level incredible feel the extra layer of hydration eye cream eye cream eye cream I've recently been using a lot of the Kiehl's eye cream and first aid beauty eye cream I use those under eye bags and facial peels in the morning from skin Iceland because that's something that helps me wake up more and at night I like to use the eye cream and so this is the avocado Kiehl's eye cream and what you want to do is you want to rub it in between between your fingers first just to melt it a little bit and then you want to pat it under your eyes this is another thing you want to make sure you pat really nicely with your ring finger because it's your most sensitive finger but you want to make sure you're patting and not rubbing because the skin is sensitive and you want to make sure the moisturizer is going in and really being able to do its job then if you do have a breakout like me I'm not gonna do it right now but what you would do is the Mario Badescu drying lotion this stuff is absolutely incredible if you have a zit like this and you just need it to go away I promise you it will you take a q-tip you do not need to shake this at all you just dip the q-tip in and you place it I always like if you follow me on snapchat and Instagram store You see I constantly have pink dots all over my face. It's because this stuff really really works It dries out that zit and it gets it gone and you can move on with your life And so I'm not gonna put it on right now because I do want to do a light therapy mask first And I want to make sure the non UV ray lights hit the all the spots of inflammation and acne on my skin So I'll do this before before I go to bed right when I get in bed I like to put on lip moisturizer. I have Super, super, super dry lips, so I keep a lip balm next to my bed to make sure I remember. Also, when I get in bed, I have a rose water spray next to my bed 
because I, you know, I do put so much on my face and I'm usually like popping things and all that stuff. And I take really, really good care of my skin, obviously. But it also sometimes, you know, gets a little irritated or whatever. And I think it's a really calming way to just spritz on all the rose water and like relax and go to bed. And it totally calms everything down. And rose water is just like amazing. And it's such a great facial spray. And then I always make sure to have a big, big jug of water next to my bedside. I sometimes take my vitamins at night. I sometimes take my vitamins in the morning. But I always try to make sure to take my beauty vitamins at night because it's sometimes hard to keep track in the morning. So I make sure to have a big glass of ice water. If you want to speed up your metabolism and really freshen and brighten your skin before you go to bed, squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. And then I try and like relax and wind down. And it's really, really all about hydration and glowiness for me. So, you know, the chapstick's really important because my lips are so dry. The water helps with every single ounce of hydration from the inside out to my skin. And then I do the UV light mask, dry those pimples out, and I call it a night. So as you can see, this is my skin with absolutely no makeup on, all my skincare products and everything on it. It's pretty clear right now besides, you know, the occasional breakouts. And I do have freckles and I have some leftover scarring from the acne from over Christmas break. break. But this literally has, the only reason all this is gone is literally because of all the products I just showed you. My nighttime skincare routine has been so, so, so important ever since, you know, the clock stru struck 12 o'clock and we went into the new year because my skin was just not in a good place at all. And so all these products and sticking to the consistency of this nighttime routine have helped so much. Like you have no idea. All my skin is clear, glowing. You can see it glowing. And like, I just feel so fresh, so clean and so much better. So I'm very, very happy with it. I want to share it with you guys. I hope you enjoyed all the different products that I showed you because like I said, I use tons of products I'm constantly switching it up whether it's depending on my skin depending on my mood depending on new stuff I want to try let me know if you have any specific skincare questions or video requests because I would love to do more skincare videos and routine videos for you guys take care of your skin you only get one skin you only get to live in one face so make sure you take care of it thank you guys so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and I will see you next time bye